So when you sit down and take the speaking section of the test, the first question, of course, is question one. The first thing that happens is that a computer, the computer screen has a question pop up that asks for your opinion. This question is open, which means you can choose any answer for it. So the first thing that I want to mention is that don't spend time on thinking of the answer. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just choose something that you think is okay that you can support. The next thing that happens after the question is read out loud to you is that you have 15 seconds to prepare your answer. After that, you have 45 seconds to speak. So let me go through and break every part of it down for you. In the question, I want to talk about this because in my previous videos I got some feedback. Sometimes the question asks you to describe your answer. So for example, let's say you get a question like this. What is your favorite toy? Describe it and explain why it's your favorite. Well, how do you deal with the describe it part? Very easy. After you provide your answer, you give a one sentence explanation of what the answer is. So quickly describe it, what it was, what it was about, what it looked like. So a quick example, which I'll show you soon, is this. In my view, Legos are the best toys for two important reasons. Legos are little blocks that you connect with each other to build something big and nice. The first reason is that, and then you go on and you continue. So whenever, that's a general rule to follow. Whenever you're giving an answer or any word that is unfamiliar to the person listening, always describe it with one sentence, and that's fluency, because that means you care that the person listening to you can understand everything that you're talking about. So whenever you're talking about something special, describe it with one sentence. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you is that before the question begins, you want to make sure to have these three little groups of letters and numbers on your scratch paper. So that A represents the space for your answer, R1 the first reason, R2 the second reason. That way you're prepared to use your time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this question quickly. And as you see here, we have our phrases. So these are the phrases that we're going to use to go through the speech in a nice, clear, calm way. Now, you see the 15 seconds on the board, so you're going to see exactly how I go through the question. So before I begin, I want to explain this very quickly. This is a nice way to bring in your answer. In my view, just provide your answer. Very simple, easy, in one short sentence. Use the question to help you create the sentence that gives your answer for two reasons. Then you give your first reason. Make it a short, clear, simple sentence. And right when you finish it, you go into the example. Now how do you provide the example? Always make sure to connect the reason to the answer. Show the relationship with a specific experience. So don't forget to make it specific by mentioning where, when, and who. Do the same thing for the second part, and then conclude with that's why. And you just restate your answer there. So I'm going to clear it up by going through this question. What do you consider the most important characteristic in a teacher? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. So as you see, I heard the question, and before it finished, I wrote down my answer. And that's because I wrote it down when I heard the sentence that I know is always going to repeat for any question. Provide reasons and examples, support and details for your answer. Now, let me start the 15 seconds, and let me think of my reasons. So let me clear that. Now what you see is that I was able to come up with everything. And 15 seconds isn't so bad when all you have to think of is your two reasons. So now for the answer. Let's go ahead and hear that. All right. Let me go ahead and get us started. In my view, knowledge is the most important characteristic in a teacher for two reasons. 
First, you learn more. For example, when I was in university in New York, I had a professor in chemistry class, and he knew his subject very well. And his lectures were really good because he provided a lot of details. Second, it's more fun. For instance, when I was in a history class in high school back here in California, I had a professor who really knew a lot about World War II. So every time she talked about it, the examples were so good, I just enjoyed it very much. That's why knowledge is important. So you see that I finished it up quickly. Now, the conclusion isn't the most important. So if you get cut off, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But it's always good to practice to try to complete everything within 45 seconds. That means you've mastered it and become comfortable with it. One of the things that I want to address is sometimes we're only able to come up with one reason. If that's the case, just give two examples. So instead of saying second, you'll say on the other hand, and make the second example opposite. So let's say I only came up with learn more. What I would say is, you know, first you learn more, for example, Kim Professor knew a lot, learned a lot. On the other hand, maybe I'll say something like in high school, my math professor didn't know a lot, so I didn't learn a lot. That's why. It's always better to come up with two reasons, but if you only come up with one, that's the way you want to deal with it. Now the most important thing for you to do is to try it. So if you're on my website, what I want you to do is just go down, go through the explanations, right? There are five more pages of detailed explanations about question one. Read through it, understand it, learn it, master it, and then practice it. Because what you see below is you see a link to a, a site called Voxopop. And if you're on YouTube, you see the second link above, and that's to the same site. So what you can do is you can click on that site, you know, just register real quick, free, simple, easy, no problem, no trouble, and you can record your answer online. And what I'm going to do within the next few days is I'm going to make a second video to this question. And that video is going to be 100% about you and your response. So you'll be able to hear me talk about what you actually spoke, give you tips to make you improve. So you will. Make sure to take advantage of that because it's great. And if you like the explanations you see here, make sure to check out the site if you're on YouTube because I have more about question one there. And don't forget to check out about our products on the link above in the site because you might find something that's helpful that can help you improve for the speaking or the writing section. If you have any questions, you can go up there, click on Contact Us, and you'll find a way to contact me. It's all about helping you improve. So I hope you enjoyed this first of many free classes. Subscribe if you're on YouTube so that you can keep them coming, or else just bookmark the site with Control D, and that way you'll always have it there in easy access for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Leave me the feedback. Wait for the video in a few days, and we'll learn a lot together. So, goodbye.